Hello guys, Big Daddy Hoffman 1911 coming to you. It's Friday night here on the compound. And uh, I got another shotgun in my hand. How about that? <laughs> Can you believe it? <laughs> Man, and I got a wall full of zombies behind me right here. Yes, sir. Got clown zombies, Nazi zombies, terrorist zombies. And I can guarantee you one thing, you'll never see Big Daddy Hoffman release a terrorist zombie. Nope. Got wild boars, pigs, hog zombies, more Nazi zombies, more over here you probably can't even see. But that's really not what this video is about. But hey, if you are interested in these, check the link underneath the video. I'll list a discount code where you can get 15% off. So, but what I wanted to talk to you tonight about is uh, shotgun ammo. Choosing the right ammo. I get so many uh, PMs. Uh, and messages and comments, emails about asking me about what's the best ammo to use or would you help me with my shotgun, it won't cycle properly. Also, I'll see a comment uh, saying that, uh, well, I wouldn't have that shotgun if it wouldn't cycle any type of ammo. Well, that's the craziest thing I can hear anybody say because I, I have Benelli's, Remington's, Winchester's, uh, Sega's, all kind of semi-automatic pump shotguns, everything. And I can make any of them misfeed or, or, or fail to eject or have problems with them with the underpowered shotgun shells. So what I'd like to do tonight is maybe save you a little heartache and headache and show you what to look for when buying shotgun ammo. I had to learn the hard way on this one, you know. So let me take the camera off the tripod and I'm going to show you uh, this ammo I've got laid out here on the table and hope it helps. Let's get it done. Okay, we got a lot of shells laid out here. <laughs> Let me say this first. Most of my shooting is done shooting clays and uh, shooting steel. I love to shoot clay targets. I just ordered a new skeet thrower and I'm going to do a video on it very soon. But um, just for out here having fun on the range, I normally stick with the low brass shells which is this one here and I'm going to stick it back over here and there's some high brass. That's federal. All right. After you finish this video, I'd like you to Google 12 gauge dram equivalent. All right, in this, you're going to find some real useful inf information. Excuse me, I got the hiccups. But this is a very good chart. When you do that, you'll find other photos that come up and ex explain shotgun loads and explain sizes. Uh, this is not to scale and a shotgun anatomy if you're that new to shotguns, okay? So let me start here. All right, this is 12 gauge. And of course, you know, y'all know what that is, whether you're using a 12 gauge or a 20 gauge or 10 gauge or whatever, two and three quarter inch, which that's what, what this is. And you know, you'll see it two and three quarter. You'll see three inch, three and a half inch. It's all printed on your shotgun barrel. The next thing you have is is the uh, ounce of shot. So it's one ounce of nine shot. All right. So when they say that, they're referring to this little chart right here. Okay. You got nine shot. Again, this is not the scale. All right. So so some might go in there and say, okay, uh, super sport competition target load. Well, man, that'll be a good one. But I want you to look at one thing here. What's really important is the dram equivalent. This is two and three quarter dram. All right, muzzle velocity 1180, which anything under 1200 is low. All right, federal target load. All right, we got 12 gauge, two and three quarter inch, two and three quarter dram which the dram is a measure of powder in the shotgun shell. All right, it's one and one eighth ounce of nine shot. Okay, 
All right, this is traveling at 1145 feet per second. So this is a low powered shotgun shell. All right. So the state ammo that I said I like the best, they even make some some low powered shotgun shells. Okay. I'm going to move on to to uh, one that's gave me the most problem, which this will throw you off just a little bit. All right. You've got uh, 12 gauge, two and three quarter, one and one eighth, one and one eighth ounce, seven and a half shot, and it's got a three gram equivalent, and it jumped up to 1,200 feet per second. Okay, on the seven and a half shot. All right, this stuff right here, I have had problems with in all my semi-automatic shotguns, and I've even seen seen it give problems in a pump shotgun. Okay. And I just don't like this type of ammo. All right, we're going to the state, and this says it's a three gram equivalent, and it's 1200. Now, my suggestion to you is to stay above 1200. So, I'm going to move over to the next one, which is a Winchester, it's three gram equivalent. Okay, so we jumped up 50. From 1200 to 1250 using the eight shot okay you might you might get by with that all right all right but I'm going to two that I like the very best okay and again it's the estate heavy game load and it's three and a quarter dram the muzzle velocity is 1255 on the eight shot and on the seven shot, you got three and a quarter dram at 1290 feet per second. Now this stuff has never given me a problem. And that's the heavy game load by a state. Okay? It works great in my Segas and everything. But recently, I just went down to uh, Gander Mountain and I found this Winchester AA and I've used it and I really like it. Okay, so we're reading 12 gauge, two and three quarter. We've got a dram of three and a quarter. It's one and one eighth ounce of seven and a half shot. And let's see, this thing is it's a pretty hot little load. It's 1300 muzzle velocity, 1300 feet per second. Okay, I really like this ammo right here. Okay, and it's three and a quarter dram, seven and a half shot. It's some good stuff, and it's uh, they're calling it Super Sport Sporting Clays. Now, be careful there, all right, because this one says Super Handicap Heavy Target Load. This is a three dram equivalent, and this is a three and a quarter. So, all right, I'm putting this back over here where I had it before. Guys, these are my best ones. I even think that uh, one of my buddies sent me a, a link. Winchester, if you go to their site, you might find a coupon code. You could Google Winchester AA uh, coupon code. They have a discount on this if you buy so many dollars worth. So I'm going back down to uh, Gander Mountain, and I'm going to buy me a bunch of this stuff because I really like it. It, it cycles well. Uh, three and a quarter dram, that's what you look for. So... Uh, I really hope this helps you a little bit. Again, please, to understand this a little better, please Google that right there. 12 gauge RAM equivalent. And you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. Okay? The, the three and a quarter DRAM. Alright? We're looking at one and weight, one and one eighth ounce. Is coming out to about 12.55, and uh, one ounce is coming out at 12.90. So anything around this range here, you're going to be good with, okay? Anyway, I hope you get the point, and I hope this helps you. Let me put this camera back on the tripod. Okay, guys, sorry about my stumbling around there. You know, it's hard to do these videos uh, holding the camera and. <laughs> do it by yourself but that's the way it is uh, I don't mind being alone here on Friday night but I got you guys to share this stuff with anyway I hope this helps you a little bit 
Uh, I've got the two that I like the best, which is the Winchester AA, just like I said a while ago, and the Estate Heavy Game Load. Um, both of them uh, are traveling at uh, both of them are three and a quarter dram. That's the important thing you look for. And uh, I think in the old days, uh, with black powder days, that was the f uh, the way they measured black powder in in drams. But um, anyway, that that tells you how much uh, how heavy a, a punch you're going to have and how much powder is in your shotgun shell. So you know. Now you can tell Big Dad, I'm not the smartest cookie on the block, you know, but you got to give me a break, you know, like I'm 160 years old, like I said in my last video, but uh, that's what you look for. Let me know if this helps you. Uh, guys, keep up the fight against gun control. It's more important now to, to fight this, uh, and we're going to have to keep fighting, I'm afraid, forever. So, support the NRA, Gun Owners of America, uh, any organization that that will help you fight for your Second Amendment rights. So, guys, if you like this video, please like, favor, and subscribe. And as always, remember, Big Daddy loves you. Hoorah. God bless you all. Now, let's go out and shoot some shotgun shells tomorrow. I don't think, uh, I don't think I'll do it tonight. See you guys. See you.